When it comes to positioning tasks in a project, a stepper motor is usually a safe bet. But there exists another popular motor-driven positioning system, called Servo, which combines a motor with control electronics in an easy-to-use package. And in this video, I will show you how such a servo works and how you can easily use one in your project with and without a microcontroller. Let's get started. The most common servos all look very similar, like these three here. They all have a sawtooth shaft on top in order to attach different kind of accessories necessary for your project and three wires coming out of them. Brown is ground, red is VCC, which usually requires a voltage between 4.8 to 7.2 volts, and orange is the control signal, which needs to be a PWM signal with a periodic time of 20 milliseconds, aka 50 Hz, and a duty cycle of 1 to 2 milliseconds, so 5 to 10 percent. While an on time of 1 milliseconds represents the minus 90 degrees position of the motor shafts, 1.5 milliseconds represent the 0 degree position and 2 milliseconds the plus 90 degrees position. So we can rotate the shaft a total of 180 degrees. But before applying an appropriate signal, let's remove the four mounting screws of the servo in order to remove the top and bottom cover. On the top, we can see four different size gears that decrease the original RPM of the utilized DC motor from around 3000 to around 50 to 100 RPM, and thereby also increase the torque. But that is not all. Underneath one gear hides the shaft of a potentiometer that is located inside the servo. This potentiometer creates a voltage divider that outputs a variable voltage according to the position of the motor shafts and acts as a feedback for the utilized control IC, the KC5188. The IC constantly compares the potentiometer voltage, aka the current state, to the intended position of the PWM signal, aka the target state, and then activates an integrated H-bridge to let the motor rotate in either direction to achieve a difference of zero between the two signals. And that is basically how a common servo works. Of course, the torque and speed, along with other useful information, are always mentioned in the datasheet. And just in case you need something beefier for your project, you can always upgrade your servo. This MG996R servo consists of metal gears with a bigger motor to increase the torque and a control IC with separate N-channel and P-channel MOSFET ICs to form an H-bridge that can handle more current. But let's get back to the control signal. After connecting the servo to a separate power supply, we can easily use the pin 9 of an Arduino and a bit of code that includes the servo library to generate the required signal. By using a potentiometer as an analog input on pin A0, I can vary the on time of the signal between 1 milliseconds and 2 milliseconds. But as you can clearly see, this input signal does not complete a 180 degrees rotation of the servo. Instead, we need something like 0.5 milliseconds to almost 2.5 milliseconds to utilize the complete 180 degrees of rotation, which the Arduino library can handle as well. But we don't necessarily need an Arduino to achieve this functionality. A simple 555 timer IC with two resistors, one diode, two capacitors and a potentiometer in this constellation can create the PWM signal as well. The on time varies between 0.5 to 2.45 milliseconds according to the position of the potentiometer and the off time is around 17.5 to 18.5 milliseconds. This way the generated signal may not have a constant periodic time of 20 milliseconds, but the servo does not really care about such small details and works just like we intended it. But let's say you need a servo that rotates 360 degrees essentially like a normal motor does. You could simply use a gear DC motor, but your project would work best with the easy to mount servo. No problem. Here is an easy hack on how to do that. 
Simply remove the mechanical end stop, which is usually attached to one gear, remove the feedback potentiometer and replace it with two 10 kilo ohm resistors to create a voltage divider that tells the control IC that the motor is always in its zero degree position. Now by applying an on time below 1.4 milliseconds, the motor rotates clockwise and above 1.4 milliseconds anti-clockwise, in both cases with an adjustable RPM. But sadly the feedback will never reach the target state and thus rotate forever. And if you're too lazy for this hack, there also exist pre-made servos with those modifications that even let you control the zero degree state of the potentiometer. And with that being said, you already know quite a bit about servos. I hope you liked this video and learned something new as well. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay creative! And I will see you next time.